Hello, my name is Jakov Kuchan. I'm in charge of product strategy at Matcat Business Unit at BTC. So today I'm going to show you Matcat Prime 1.0, our newest release of Matcat with a completely redesigned UI to make the application much more intuitive and easier to adopt and learn, and yet retaining the power of a Matcat calculation engine. First, take a look at the user interface. So here we have the ribbon UI designed to make all the functionality easy to discover and find. Uh, also, you will notice that uh, we have a document-centric point of view to make it easy to create the good-looking documents with little effort. At the heart of the new MATCAD UI, uh, it's the equation editor. This makes entering equations as simple as typing text. I'll show you a few examples. In this equation, we, have, we are just adding a couple of terms. You can type exactly what you see. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 using a hat for exponentiation. Uh, 4, moving the cursor forward to the next position, minus 5% equals. And you get exactly what you expect. In the next example, it's a little bit more involved. We can t define a range R by typing R colon equals 0, 0,0.1 point 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 one zero. And notice how the color changes from blue to black where MATCAD is trying to understand what you are typing. Uh, in this example, user wants to type uh, an operator that is not on the keyboard but it's usually typed as a combination of greater than or equals. And that's exactly what we can type. x greater equals 3 to get the desired equation. The next thing I can show you is how to change equations. So I'll scroll down to see some more examples. And let's take a look at these. These are simple equations. So in this particular case, user wants to change plus to a minus. This is accomplished by simply selecting minus, which already shows you what the arguments are, and then typing min minus over that, changing the equation 1 half plus 1 quarter into 1 half minus 1 quarter. In the next example, user wants to type C minus preceding the um, uh, fraction A over B. We simply put the cursor in front, type C minus, and we get the desired result. Uh, in the following example, we want to change the order of evalu evaluation. So instead of multiplying B and C first and then adding A, we can s drag with the mouse and select the group of terms. We want to group and insert parentheses by typing a parentheses and get the desired equation. I can also show you a little bit more complex examples using summation. So in... Uh, some equations, it is not entirely clear what the equation means. So here in particular, are we adding just the first term or all of the terms together? To understand that, MATCAD highlights the operands of the operator. You click on the sum and see that only first term is included in the sum. To change that, again, we simply select the part and insert parentheses. Similarly, if we want to change the parentheses, we can go in, we can delete the original parentheses, using shift and arrow, just like in a text editor, select the part that we want to group and insert parentheses to group. Here is another feature in MATCAD Prime 1.0. We build uh, on top of legendary unit capability of MATCAD uh, by improving it in two separate ways. Uh, first, we made unit checking more flexible while retaining rigor, uh, leveraging so-called dynamic unit checking. Now, we can allow users to mix and match units in a matrix. Uh, uh, at the same time, we maintain the rigor of unit checking as well as unit conversion. In this example, I'll demonstrate another feature uh, that we added, make it, making the units more visible. So in, in here, we are defining a physical constant, which is the density of air. And of course, uh, this is, uh, comes with the dimension kilograms per meter cubed. We can use that in calculations and uh, 
MATCAD will understand uh, the dimension uh, used. Also, whenever we use units in a calculation, you notice they are highlighted in blue. Uh, that is to distinguish them from other variables, which may have the same name as in this example. We have m as meter, and we have another m, which represents the mass, which is actually in kilograms. Notice that MATCAD is not confused, neither is the user uh, reading this particular document. On to plotting the results of this particular calculation. Notice that we use units in the plot. Uh, they are placed in the unit placeholder in parentheses, indicating that the values on the axis are in these units. If you want to change, if you're more comfortable using a different unit, for example, pounds for mass, simply change to pounds, recalculate the graph. And now we notice that the axis represents um, values in pounds. This was a very quick introduction to MATCAD Prime 1.0, just to give you a flavor of look and feel of the application.